for number one, we need to find the area bounded by two curves. So when we do that, remember, you need to figure out what, uh, a couple of different things. First of all, where do the curves intersect, and which curve is above the other curve. So our two curves, we have our y equals negative x squared plus 4, and y equals negative x plus 2. So uh, one thing that can help you out in these types of problems is that if you're looking for the area bounded by these curves, let's think about what shape these are. The first curve is a parabola, and it's a parabola that opens downward. And the second one is a line. So if these two are intersecting and, and enclosing some type of area, so we have this shape and we have this type of line, the only way that they could enclose any sort of area is if the parabola is higher. So we know that this is going to be the higher function. We just need to know where they intersect. And to do that, we need to set them equal to each other. So we set both functions equal to each other, and we try to solve this. Uh, in this case, we want to move everything over to the right side. And we would get x squared minus x minus 2. That factors nicely into x minus 2, x plus 1, and you can see then we get x equals 2 and x equals negative 1 as our points of intersection. So we know then that if we want to find the total area enclosed by this, we're going to be integrating from negative 1 to 2. And like I said before, since the shapes of the graph are this way, we know that the parabola is going to be the higher graph. But one way you can test that is to just plug in some number that's in between these two. So let's say 0. When you plug in 0, you can see that the parabola gives you a higher value, so you know it's above. So then we need to subtract the lower function from the higher function. So we take negative x squared plus 4, the higher function, and subtract the lower function. And this is the integral uh, that would give us the area. And you're not supposed to figure out this integral. You're supposed to just state it. But we can simplify this a little bit. If we distribute this negative and combine like terms, we see that we get the following. Negative x squared, this would become plus x. And we have plus 4 minus 2, so we get plus 2. So that integral right there is the one that, if you evaluated, would give you the area bounded between uh, those two curves.